Hey, peace and blessings, everyone. Uh, this is Sister Kimberly, Elemental Wisdom 72. And um, this is just an extension of a video that I did on TikTok, talk about change how you pray. And I'm talking about changing how you pray to your ancestors. And what I was saying in um, my three minute video, which I will upload here on YouTube, is that your ancestors are holy, right? They're sacred. And the main prayer that you need to start with is uh, the Lord's Prayer. It's easy. Everybody knows it. Okay? This is just a way, folks. So bear with me here. Follow me. Right? So rather than saying our Father, we say our Mother, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Holy is your name. Right? Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Because we're talking about these holy sacred mothers, this divine feminine. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, right? The spiritual realm and the physical realm. Give us this day our daily bread. Because you know what? Let me tell you something. Some of y'all big mamas used to cook for you and feed you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So look, you get the gist of it. And so you have to understand and that needs to resonate with you when you start talking to your ancestors in holy communion that we call prayer. Your hands do not need to be together. I wouldn't even put my hands together like that or kneel. I would stand before them and communicate this, right? Because those those prayers that are in uh, the Bible, in those scriptures, right, are words of power. All right? And the way that we were taught that you can only pray to this heavenly father or Jesus and somehow your ancestors were evil or there's some type of demons or some type of dumb shit that the church has placed that spell in your mind to make you demonize your own spirituality, your own spiritual family. They're supposed to be some type of evil shit, but this is to keep you locked down, right? Because when you go to the Vatican, the Pope himself is kneeling to the Queen of Heaven, which you know in Christianity as the Virgin Mary. But this is a personification of the Divine Feminine, Big Mama, the Mother of Creation, the Queen of Heaven. I know a lot of queens in my life that took care of me. My grandmothers, aunties, even those spiritual aunties that from time immemorial, the ancient ones that did work prior to me even incarnating into this realm during the time that I came down here. So I change and I practice this, I change the prayer and insert their name into it. It is just as powerful, matter of fact, not just as powerful, more powerful. Because in that, you have deified your ancestors. They are divine spiritual beings. You have basically turned them into saints because that's how they should be treated. These are people who loved you in this lifetime. And you do have spiritual ancestors that have walked with you since before you even came into this lifetime right and so you want to change that language up 
it not only feeds them, but it honors them and places them high in the hierarchy of your spiritual practice. So you got to start learning how to change the game, family. Y'all need to quit bowing down to superstitions. Right? Believing. Because when you believe in superstitions, you be leaving or be lying to yourself and you be living in that shit. And so that superstition affects you. The moment that you throw out superstition and you start elevating your consciousness and your mindset doesn't affect you anymore like it used to. You're living in a different type of realm then, realm of consciousness. So look, change these, change these prayers up. Don't throw away your Bibles. That book is valuable when you know how to use it properly. I'm telling you how to win at the game here. You don't have to change, you know, as far as throwing out the Bible. Keep it. It's a spell book. It can use to put you under a spell, like the church has used to put the majority of the world underneath a spell. Or it can be used for you for your spell work. To break spells. To break curses. To implement blessings. And especially black folk. Because you know we got them spiritual uh, mothers. Right? That used that book. And used it well. A lot of our grandmother's prayers are still working. Protecting our asses today. So, you know, look, when you start to deify your ancestors, I can't say this enough, family. You have to be able to deify your, your ancestors are saints, okay? The benevolent ancestors is what I'm talking about. Blood of your blood, flesh of your flesh, their divine light code energy lives within your DNA, and when you start inserting their names, their holy names into the proper text, then you start to activate that DNA light code within you, that divine energy within you. And it activates you as well. It opens doors. Case in point, everybody praying to goddamn Jesus out here, right? What, the letter J didn't even exist before the freaking, what, 16th century or some shit? There was no letter J, but you take away the J and you have E-S-U. Take away that S on the end and you have what? For the people who practice Ifa and African uh, traditional religion, that's S-U. Put a Y on the, on the front of that and you got yeah shoe Yeshua the way maker the door opener as shoe Elegba Elegbara Legba this is folks you've been fucking fooled out here to keep thinking that your spirituality, especially black folks, this is where I'm really directing this to. Because you're the spiritual gatekeepers on the planet. Okay? We are the spiritual gatekeepers on the planet. Not to say that other people don't have their own spirituality, but we, being the original people on this planet, being the people that gave people spirituality and concepts we are the ones that need to come online with this shit right here okay so look you need to know who you're praying to ain't no body named Jesus ever existed 
Okay? Understand that our people understood principalities in nature. Higher spiritual principalities in nature. Laws of nature or loa for those who practice voodoo. Of nature. These divine energetic principalities that live within you. They're not outside your ass. They live within you. They are part of your bloodline, DNA, that light code, energetic light code that was, that's within your DNA. Your genes, that genie in the bottle, you the motherfucking bottle. That genie, yes, that lives within your DNA. The genes in us. You got to be able to decode this shit, family. You got to be able to decode it. If not, you're going to be running around here blind, uh, subject to whatever type of damn distraction that the enemy sends to you day in and day out. Y'all run around here stupid and shit. It doesn't, it doesn't make any damn sense that, you know, with all this information, that there's still some folks out here who want to remain stupid. You can't remain stupid. You're going to be, listen, a lot of people coming online, a lot of people being activated, a lot of people are waking up, but a lot of people that are choosing to remain stupid, even with everything in front of them. And I'm using the word stupid because at this point, it's stupidity. It's not ignorance. Like, I didn't know. No, nigga, you knew. Now you're being stupid. And the reason you're catching hell is you're not freaking deifying your ancestors. The reason why black men are being shot in the street because you're not deifying your freaking ancestors and getting that protection around you. Ogun is gonna motherfucking eat. He gonna get fed some type of way, but if you're not goddamn uh, venerating that Ogun energy Ogun is going to motherfucking eat. And he's eating the goddamn young men. The children. The warriors. You got to deify these ancestors. You know, and I know somebody probably in E5 going to probably try to come for me and this shit and everything like that. No. Yo, you need to know which ancestors are the personification of an Orisha, which is a divine principle. You got some Ogun's in your family. You got some Oya's in your family. You got some Yemaya's. You got Oshun. You got some damn uh, Legbas, Ilegwa's in your family. You got some Obatala's in your family. O Sayin, O Chosis. You have those people in your bloodline. It's time to figure this shit out. This shit ain't hard, folks. It ain't hard, but you make it hard because you want to be stupid and shit. You want abundance, you want prosperity, you want wealth. Start venerating your ancestors like you venerate that motherfucking cracker ass Jesus. Start doing that shit. See what happens when you start doing that. See the blessings that flow when you start doing that. See the wealth that comes to you and your family when you start doing that. See barriers, mountains breaking down that you thought were insurmountable when you start doing that. It's enough of the dumb shit, family. Y'all need to quit being stupid out here. Y'all need to quit watching that fucking love and hip hop, that fucking basketball wives, all that fucking dumb ass nigga shit 
they put in front of you to keep you at a nigga level. So, look, y'all better come on in the room. Y'all better come on in the room. It's time to go to the upper room. Our minds. The mind is all and the universe is mental. This is the goddamn upper room. Higher consciousness is the fucking upper room. Start pulling out those Bibles and start fucking reading for your fucking self and quit being under this damn stupid ass spell thinking you're a fucking worm and you gotta beg for every fucking thing. You don't have to beg for shit. This stuff belongs to you. This planet belongs to you. So your ancestors are saying, look, do I need to whoop your ass? Elevate them. Make them strong within you. Quit being a weak bitch out here. If not, you're going to be motherfucking eaten alive by your goddamn enemies. And if you continue to remain just stupid as you want to be, you deserve what you get from that. All of this shit that they, again, that they put in front of you on the news, all of these events, all of this racism, all of this sexism, all of these isms and shit, Roe versus Wade and shit, that ain't, look, start venerating your goddamn ancestors and turning them into the fucking gods that they are in your life. They are the goddamn gods. So if they were are the gods, then you are the fucking god. It is that simple. It ain't got to be complicated. You ain't got to light 20,000 candles. You ain't got to make no fucking oils. You ain't got to motherfucking run around in the fucking circle and say whom to hide and all that kind of bullshit. You ain't got to do all of that. Change how you pray. The most simplest of prayers that we learned when we were fucking five years old. Right? Change how you pray. Change how you talk to your ancestors. Deify your ancestors. Make yourself great again. You're not no motherfucking worm. You're not motherfucking unworthy. You ain't no motherfucking sinner. None of that stupid ass bullshit. The only sin is ignorance. Willful fucking ignorance is the only goddamn sin out here. That's it. When you have knowledge of yourself, and who you are, then blessings shower down upon you. The sun will always shine on you. Change how you pray, family. I can't say it anymore. And with that, I got to go. Love, peace, and hair grease. Right? All right? Y'all be blessed out there. Y'all stay elevated out there. Like and share this video with whoever needs to hear it. I don't care. Okay? If you have any questions, please ask it in the comments section. Let's remain respectful. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Change how you pray. Venerate them ancestors. And y'all be blessed out there.